I'm curious when you found out about this episode, did you find out before the script or did you get the script and go, oh my God, I can't believe I'm getting to do this? They gave me a little bit of a heads up. Uh, I got a phone call saying that there, there, there were, there was some talk and people were sort of pitching around ideas and what did I think of that? And I said, yeah, I mean, I would love to, I think like, you know, the show is such a fun show to make, but one of the things that I had been sort of like um, waiting for, you know, one of the, thing, the things that we miss out on and for, for like the team in present day is that we don't get to shoot with Ray. You know, we don't really have scenes with Ben and, and, and we hang out, you know, and, and, and he's great, but we don't actually get to work with him very much. So I was just really thrilled about the idea of getting a whole episode to kind of play around with him. You know, his comedic timing is so great and he's just so fun to work with. And well, so speaking of, right, what was it actually like filming with him? What did you kind of learn about what that relationship was like and what your dynamic was like? Yeah, I think, um, you know, one of the aspects of my of Jen's relationship to Ben, which in the beginning of the season, I think I just didn't really know right because it's not referred to a ton and then as the season rolls out in the way that we refer the way that Jen refers to him you know I collected more information but really I think um I think you know I for me at least I brought in a lot of sort of my personal experience with Ray which is that like you know, Ray is a lovely guy. He is like the most likable guy. And I think um, while Ray and I didn't know each other before this show, I think when we met, there's just a little bit, we have a little bit of kind of like a sibling-y, cousin-y relationship. And and I think part of that is just like his personality style and, and mine and how we relate together and sort of kind of how we kind of goober out together. But, um, but I think some of it too maybe is just because... Um, uh, you know, we're both Korean. And so not to make it like fully about rape, but I think that when you share a certain heritage, even if you don't know that person, you know that there are certain things that, that Ray and I have shared together in our lifetimes, living our lives in this country. Um, and so I think there's a little bit of a thread of sort of understanding underneath our relationship. And, I think absolutely, um, at least for me, I brought that in um, between Jen's relationship to Ben. And, and then of course, I think seeing him in, in this circumstance, you know, it's one thing to be watching Ben on the screen and monitoring him and, and, and kind of looking after him, but it's another thing to see him like almost in the flesh, you know, like as if I could almost touch him and, and it's been so long and there's, you know, a lot of feelings there, but then you, you, you know, it's coupled with the pressure of the circumstance that you're in, which is always racing against the clock, I feel like. Yeah. Well, and Jen is brought into the situation for a very specific re reason. What can you preview about what her job will be this episode? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think Jen initially is a, a little reluctant, but the reason why she um, comes in as the hologram is because she has a law degree. So um, I think uh, uh, because Ben leaps into the body of a public defender, um, Jen is like sort of the very reluctant, like, uh, tribute to go in <laughs> as as the hologram because you know it's just going to save a lot of time to be able to be there real time and help him out in those moments those split second things and reactions that he needs help with um versus I mean it would just save time versus me relaying that to Addison Addison relaying that to Ben um it's just get in there and I think I think there's an aspect of Jen that you know, Addison was the one that was supposed to leave. And then Ben went, none of the rest of us had any, or I'll, I'll speak for Jen, Jen didn't have any desire to actually be like the leaper or to go in or experience that world. Um, I think that there's an aspect of Jen in, uh, in, in the juxtaposition to the rest of the team where because of her background, because she has a criminal background and because she, more or less continues to steal information. It's just sanctioned by the government, you know, like, um, I think there's a part of her that maybe didn't think that she was a good guy in the same way that Addison is the hero. Ben is a good guy, you know, magic is a leader. Ian 
so much compassion. And, and um, so I think maybe there's some hesitation there um, going in and maybe that held her back and, and, and made her feel a bit hesitant. 